Ann Pariser, MD, National Center for Advancing Translational Sciences, sits in an office and speaks into the camera. Genetic research for rare disease patients, I think has been one of the big game changers for rare diseases. Of our 7,000 or so rare diseases, uh, it's estimated about 85% of them are single gene disorders where something has gone wrong in a single gene and sometimes it's in a single base pair. And having that increase in understanding of the molecular underpinnings of these diseases, what that does is it opens up now targets for us to start aiming at in developing therapeutics. So this has just absolutely changed the way that we approach things, but also opened up the possibility of developing highly effective therapies for just so many of our diseases and so many of our patients. Logo for the National Center for Advancing Translational Sciences. Hashtag I am translational science. Filmed February 2021. I'm Ann Pariser. I'm the director of the Office of Rare Diseases Research at NCATS, also known as ORDR. Our research. So we have about 7,000 or so uh, rare diseases that are currently known. And most of these diseases affect a few thousand or a few hundred patients or sometimes even less than that. Our overall mission is to try to advance therapies for the, for the benefit of rare disease patients. So what we do, like most of NCATS, is we, we are disease agnostic. We're not focused on any one rare disease. What we're trying to do is improve the rare disease environment for all rare diseases. So we're trying to focus on those research speed bumps, um, or, or general issues that are common to so many rare diseases and trying to focus on those with the hope that it's going to improve the research environment. So to, to give you an example of some of the work that we do, uh, we recently started a project that's called to PAVE GT and that stands for Platform Vector Gene Therapy. Gene therapy is really very promising for many, many rare diseases. Many rare diseases affect a single gene, and what gene therapy opens the possibility of doing is, is replacing that defective gene um, and to try to either give back something that's missing or correct whatever the underlying molecular problem is with the rare disease. And a lot of the challenge now is trying to move the field along faster so that we can benefit many more diseases and what we at ORDR are particularly interested in is those very low prevalence disorders, diseases that affect maybe 50 patients or less. So PAVE-DT is currently trying to develop four gene therapies for four diseases at the same time. And uh, what we hope is going to happen as we move one gene therapy along, that knowledge or some of that knowledge will then be applied to the next program that will then be applied to the next program, which will then be applied to the next one. And through this, we'll be able to help keep the cost down because right now that uh, um, gene therapy, particularly manufacturing um, is very expensive, but maybe more importantly is to, is to try to save time because time is such a precious commodity um, to our patients. Translational science. Being a translational scientist at NCATS is just really an incredible opportunity to, to help people. Uh, I've, I've been working in rare diseases for about 20 years. And uh, I think, especially maybe in the last five years or so uh, with the advances in science, particularly genetic science, it has just really opened the door to being able to help so many more people. And uh, that's what we do here at NCATS is, is we try to come up with translational science that is gonna improve the research environment that will help speed those advances along and actually get them into the clinic where that they can benefit people. So I'm just really very grateful and appreciative um, to have this opportunity. Logo for the National Center for Advancing Translational Sciences, hashtag I am translational science.